manage money by consultation plans will succeed proverbs 2018 how to manage money by consultation plans will succeed proverbs 2018 money to provide our families with things they need. Proverbs 38. After all, money is a protection. Ecclesiastes 7.12. As a couple, it may be difficult to talk about money, but do not let money cause problems in your marriage. Ephesians 4.32. A couple should trust each other and work together when deciding how money will be spent. Plan carefully what the Bible says. Who of you wanting to build a tower does not first sit down and calculate the expense to see if he has enough to complete it? Luke 14.28 it is essential that you plan together how you will use your money. Amos 3.3 3. Decide what you need to buy and how much you can afford to spend. Proverbs 31.16 Just because you have the money to buy something does not necessarily mean that you should. Try to avoid debt. Spend only the money you have. Proverbs 21.5 Proverbs 22.7 What you can do If you have extra money at the end of the month, decide together what you're going to do with it. If you have a difficult, if you have a deficit, make specific plans to reduce your expenses. For example, you could prepare your own meals instead of eating out. What you can do. If you have extra money at the end of the month, decide together what you're going to do with it. If you have a deficit, make specific plans to reduce your expenses. For example, you could prepare your own meals instead of eating out. open and realistic. What the Bible says, care for everything honestly, not only in the sight of Yahweh, but also in the sight of men. 2 Corinthians 8.21. Be honest with your mate about how much you earn and spend. Always consult your mate when making major decisions about your finances. Proverbs 13.10. Communicating about money will help to maintain peace in your marriage. View your income not as your personal money, but as family money. 1 Timothy 5.8 Always consult your mate when making major decisions about your finances. Proverbs 13.10 Communicating about money will help to maintain peace in your marriage. View your income, not as your personal money, but as family money. 1 Timothy 5.8 What you can do. Agree on an amount that each of you can spend without having to consult the other. Do not wait until a problem arises before you talk about money. What you can do. Agree on on an amount that each of you can spend without having to consult the other. Do not wait until a problem arises before you talk about money. Your view of money. Although money is important, do not allow it to disrupt your marriage or cause unnecessary anxiety. Matthew 6, 25-34 you do not need a lot of money to enjoy life. The Bible says, 
guard against every sort of greed. Luke 12, 15. Nothing that money can buy is more precious than your marriage. So be content with what you have. And never neglect your relationship with God. If you do this, your family will be happy and you will have Yahweh's approval. Hebrews 13, 5. Ask yourself, what can we do as a family to stay out of debt? When was the last time my mate and I openly discussed our finances? Ask yourself, what can we do as a family to stay out of debt? When was the last time my mate and I openly discussed our finances? Ask yourself.